What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but, uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe, what's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. It just wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Yeah, see ya. We're getting close to Nelson. Any closer, I'm shooting any legionary I see. Hope that's not a problem. Damn right. You and I, we're just a couple of problem solvers. We won't go. Hold up there. This area is locked down by the NCR military until we can dislodge some Legion snakes from Nelson. My apologies, but that name and face ain't ringing the old school bell upstairs. Afraid I can't let you through until the situation is resolved. Fair enough. It's not like any of the troopers around here are jumping up to volunteer. If you had a few dozen doses of Psycho on you, maybe we could pep those weepy troopers into charging down into Nelson and taking back the camp. But since that's not likely, you could help me take out the Legion's trooper hostages. I'm a ranger. They're troopers. Different branches. I don't have authority over them even though they're as green as a super mutant's backside. Besides, they probably start crying as soon as they saw the hostages get so much as a bruise. Nope, they don't got the stomach for it. Good. We clear out the hostages, they lose their advantage. They're down in a clearing, crucified on some telephone poles. I'll cover you from the ridge. Just make it quick. These boys should be put out of their misery, not plink to death with some old varmint rifle. And don't get any dreamy notions about playing the hero and dragging these boys out. You'll get swarmed. Now let's go. Quietly. The Legion can count on that. To hell with mercy killing. We're getting those guys out of there.
their best men against us. Mercy killing is a last resort. I'm glad you recognized we had options. Howdy. What's the word? I have to admit, I didn't think you could do it. Guess that makes me the sap and you the hero. I'm not authorized to pay for contract work, but here's something for the effort. And I'll make sure everyone hears about what you did. Thanks. Mercy killing is expected of NCR snipers. The Legion likes to torture their prisoners within sight of NCR positions. We get called on to end it. I've had my share. Some of them, you think. Maybe you could have gotten them out. Maybe it's not the Legion that got them killed. Maybe it's your orders and you following them. We won. Look, we've done some traveling together, but we're not exactly comrades in arms. I'm not ready to swap war stories. Couldn't hurt. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? First, I get my legs smashed, and then in walks the Powder Ganger's grim fucking Reaper. What the fuck have you got against us, man? Jesus fucking Christ. If you want me dead, just give me 15 medics and I'll fucking OD for you, okay? Fuck! I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Prize for second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled, get it? Then you're a fucking dream come true, ain't you? How much you gonna give me? Three doses? That's almost enough for a party. Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place. So him they let walk. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor. We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky cause it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs and the winner, they let go free. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion fucks dragged them off right away. They were headed east if you're feeling heroic. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I don't give a fuck. Bye.
All mine. All mine. Oh my. They got what they had coming. Well, you were the ones to deliver it. Pisses me off that Legion slavers can just operate on NCR turf like that. If we hadn't caught up to them, they'd probably have a clear path to the river. No one to stop them. There should be patrols. Checkpoints. We got greedy, overstretched. Now our own territory is insecure. I don't see what this helps. She's dead. All right. She... I tracked her down. Southeast, near the river. They were selling her. Saw it through my scope. Whole place swarming with legion, hundreds of them. Bidding for things no man has a right to. I just had my rifle with me. Just me against all of them. So I took the shot. Yeah, what they do to women, that's worse than death. There was no choice in what I did. It was more like being forced to watch something you can't stop. All this was only ever going to play out one way. It still is. I don't have any say. All I can do is wait for it to be done with me. It was going to be something. If I'd never met Carla... It would have been something else. I should have never gotten close to her. I've got bad things coming to me. You better keep your distance too. Because fair is fair. Better that you don't. Yeah.
Caesar's dead. Bet he didn't see this coming when he was having his coffee this morning. Still, it's not gonna stop the Legion. It might not even slow them down. Intel we had back in the NCR said they had a whole succession lined up. They'll replace him as soon as word gets out. The other thing I heard is that he wasn't really commanding the army anymore. Guess we made sure of that. <laughs> yeah. That was some kind of stunt we pulled. Whatever happens from here on out, we killed that prick in the middle of his fortress. Ought to give the rest of them something to think about. Yeah, I guess that'd be the word. We did what we were there to do. A lot of people got killed. That's war. Maybe looking back, you do things differently. But that's not how it works. In the field, you hesitate. You or someone you care about will die. They teach that from day one. You don't come out of a tour of duty without regrets. It's best just not to think about it. Yeah. Always. Even when I sleep. I don't think so. It won't change anything. And that's a memory I don't want refreshed. Life has a way of punishing you for the mistakes you make. Big enough mistake, punishment can take a while. Mine's not over. A murderer who does good deeds is still a murderer. And he'll still get his judgment. I left the NCR when my tour was up. Had enough of war. And decided I was gonna start over. None of it made a difference in the end. Because I'm still alive. There you are. Had enough? Hey. I thought some more about what you said. I think maybe you're right. Maybe I should go to Bitter Springs. I don't know what I'm hoping to find there. I hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> 